A cost-effective solution for FSK signal generation and FSK signal analysis. FSK modulation has been widely used in many types of remote consumer electronics, such as smart grids, vehicle pre-safety, and remote metering industries, because it ties low-cost, high-performance wireless connectivity with long battery life. The challenge has become one of lowering the testing costs associated with producing such FSK modulation embedded wireless devices. A vector signal generator generates a FSK signal easily, but it is also costly, especially when you only want to generate some simple digital modulations. Today we will introduce you to a low cost way of generating FSK signals with an arbitrary waveform generator and an RF signal generator and how to analyze the FSK signal with a low-cost spectrum analyzer solution. In this demonstration we will use a PC with Agilent 33503A bench link software, one Agilent 33250A arbitrary waveform generator, one Agilent N9310A RF signal generator, one Agilent N9320B RF spectrum analyzer, with ASK FSK demodulation option DMA installed. Now let's connect them to set up the branch. Firstly, connect the 33250A arbitrary waveform generator to the PC with a GPIB USB adapter. If you are using a 33500 series arbitrary waveform generator, you are more flexible to choose whether to use USB, LAN, or GPIB connection between the PC and the arbitrary waveform generator. Next, connect the output of the 33250A to the external modulation source connector on the rear panel of the N9310A RF signal generator. Last step, connect the N9310A RF output to the N9320B. RF input port. Now we are ready to begin our demonstration. The first step to generate an FSK signal is to build a baseband waveform using the 33503A Benchlink software. This is done by running the 33503A Benchlink software on the PC. Click New Waveform. In the New Waveform window, select Instrument Model from the drop-down list and check 33250A. Then click OK to continue. In this demonstration, we apply the built-in Square Waveform to start the waveform editing. Now, click Square. A basic segments window pops up. We need to set up the total time and amplitude. According to the properties, of the predefined sample signal, its symbol rate is 4K SPS. The amount of symbols is 10. So the total time of one frame is 2.5 Munich seconds. Amplitude should be 1 volt peak to peak, according to the equation in the table. Now we can set the total time of one frame at 2.5 Munich seconds and amplitude at 1 volt in the basic segments window. Then click OK to continue. The second step is to link the 33250A arbitrary waveform generator to the 33503A Benchlink software. Now click Communication and click Connect to bring up a Connect Instrument dialog window. In the dialog window, click Find Instruments and the Benchlink software starts to scan any instrument that is connected to the PC. Once the 33250A is found, the dialog window shows its module information. Then click Connect to continue. OK, the 33250A is ready to receive the waveform from the 33503A Benchlink software now. Click Close to continue. The third step is to send the waveform to the 33250A arbitrary waveform generator from the Benchlink software. Click Send Data to Instrument. A Send Waveform dialog window pops up. Click Send. When the progress bar becomes full with green color, click Close. Enable the 33250 output.
Okay, now let's configure the N9310A RF signal generator for the 433 MHz FSK modulated signal. Set the carrier frequency at 433 MHz. Set the amplitude at negative 20 dBm. Set the FM deviation at 25 kilohertz. Toggle the FM modulation source to external. Enable the FM modulation. Turn on the RF output. The N9310A RF signal generator displays all the setups. To view this 433 MHz FSK signal, you can make use of the Agilent N9320B spectrum analyzer. The Agilent N9320B is a perfect fit for testing low-power RF devices, which applied FSK modulation technology. The measurement of a FSK signal can be done in either spectrum analyzer mode or demodulation analysis mode of the N9320B. To measure a FSK modulation signal, you might use the spectrum analyzer mode in the traditional way. Maximum hold is usually used to measure the peak-to-peak -peak FSK deviation, but it can be time-consuming. To do this, set the center frequency to 433 MHz. Set the span to 200 kHz. Set the trace view to max hold status and wait till the trace stabilizes. In order to read out the FSK deviation, you will need to use markers. Press the peak search button. Press the marker. Marker delta. Press peak search button again. Then press Next Peak. Now you can read the FSK deviation through the Marker Delta readout. Another more effective way to measure the FSK signal today is to use the FSK modulation analysis capability on the N9320B Spectrum Analyzer. This feature lets you quickly measure the carrier power and the FSK deviation of an FSK signal. N9320B is the only benchtop spectrum analyzer in the market which provides dedicated FSK modulation analysis capability. It is easy to do this in four steps. Change the measurement mode from Spectrum Analyzer to FSK Modulation Analysis Mode. Set the center frequency at 433 MHz. Set the symbol rate at 4K SPS. Turn off the reference filter. Now you can view the FSK modulation metrics from the lower part of the screen. You can further choose to view symbols by setting the view method to Symbol. To learn more, we invite you to visit our product website and download the latest application notes about the economy measurement solution for smart grid devices. Thanks for watching.